So hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to need to give the Sprinter some TLC. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Today we're going to have to give the Sprinter some TLC as just like with the race car on the way to Silverstone a couple of weeks ago, there was a little bit of an issue. So I'd done about 10 miles of our journey, stopped off to fill up with some diesel and we noticed a massive puddle of coolant underneath the front of the engine. So I had a quick look and it seems as though it's actually leaking from the water pump, but not around from the gasket area or anything like that. It looked like it was actually leaking through the pulley head. So obviously we're gonna to have to strip this down, have a look. I have bought a new replacement one and I've also bought 10 liters of coolant. So hopefully this is enough for the job. So basically that's what we're gonna to have to do today and crack on and try and get this water pump replaced. So as I was saying, it appears that the coolant leak was coming literally out of that pulley there where it bolts onto the viscous fan. So this is actually obviously right in the depth of the front of the engine there. So what we're gonna to have to do is probably take off all this cowling, try and get the viscous fan off. And then that way we should have enough room to be able to actually play around with the water pump there. So first of all, I'm gonna start removing all bits and pieces like this. And then we can try and get this engine, uh, the fan cowling off. And then hopefully that should give us enough room. So let's get cracking and see what we can get on with. Okay, so I've now got the fan off. It is not a reverse thread and what you need to do is grab a long screwdriver and sort of wedge it behind there and the clutch of the fan so on the back you need to try and like wedge it behind here and those screws and then it just comes undone and then this was an absolute nightmare to try and pull out i think i might have snapped a piece to be honest but that's now out of the way which means should have plenty of room now to replace this water pump so the next thing i need to do is remove this belt i'm probably going to, have to remove this tensioner because by the looks of things you have to put this tensioner onto the new water pump as well because obviously here's the main water pump pulley so that's going to have to go onto the new one as well but then this also replaces onto the pulley or onto the water pump as well so let's try and get this belt off and then we can then start to actually remove the water pump okay so i've just pulled the belt off this is the tensioner the adjustable tensioner and i could not figure out how on earth to do it when you push the belt from underneath or pull the belt from underneath it would spring back but i couldn't find any way of actually doing it you know with a tool or anything so what i've done for now is just pulled it off from underneath i got the the top of the belt here just off this pulley and then just pulled it off from underneath and it came out so it might be a bit of an issue when it comes to putting the belt back on but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it now we can actually get to this water pump so they've got these e10 bits they're basically a reverse hex bolt i've got one of the sockets up here so here isn't what an e looks like like i say it's just a reverse hex bolt or a torque bit so that way they'll just get in there and undo these so as you can see that there's some up here look so this is an e10 that's what they look like so there's quite a few of them i've also got to take off two coolant pipes here one there and then there's a smaller one oh there's a bigger one at the bottom down here you can just see the jubilee clip there so i'll take that off that off then i can undo all those e bits and hopefully remove all this then we need to swap over the pulley onto the new water pump and fit the new water pump so let's get cracking removing these coolant pipes and go from there okay so with those coolant hoses now removed it's literally just a case of removing all these little e-torx bits so there's one there i'm just gonna get crack on remove all them and hopefully that's just the water pump off but I'll be honest, this isn't a job I probably would like to do again. I've absolutely cut my arms to shreds and I'm disgustingly filthy from all the carbon buildup on all the parts around there. So if you're going to do this, make sure you glove up. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.